Hello guys, my name is Carlton. Uh, welcome to our channel once again. So today we are trying to prove uh, the concept of using a 3D scanner for underground. So we have an added here. Let me show you. We have an added here. Temporal picks that we have put using our uh, different GPS. This is one of the pegs and this is the big side and the full side. Then we have actually installed some pegs underground from here. So we are going to use an adit. This is a small adit. So here yeah, I'm going inside the adit. So hopefully you'll be able to see. So uh, what we are going to do is uh, we have some pegs that we uh, done using a total station. We are going to follow through and uh, mark the pegs or pegs which are on top uh, right now i can't see where we put it but then i uh, will put the uh, spray paint there so that you will be able to see uh, we want to use those pegs as our controls for the service that we are going to do so that it will be easier to check if the scan is uh, competent enough for used in the underground environment so i'm going to walk through then i'll show you the video and everything there we are going that side i think it's around 100 meters i'm going for this one i'm going to use the 3d scanner app so when we were doing the screen record we forgot to turn off the turn on the audio so i'm going to do an audio whilst we are uh, editing this video so uh, at first you scan from your pegs going into the area that you want if you see the red uh, area it means that is that's the area which is not yet scanned when you are using the 3d scanner app i like the uh, scanner app because uh, it gives you the again a guidance sort of a guidance then make sure that you when you are scanning you spend as mm, much time on the pigs as possible we did in, in that era and we noticed after we finished the data uh, press the uh, scanning the area so we are using the lighter scanner for this uh, a tutorial and uh, for this uh, demonstration uh, the for from the iPhone Pro I think uh, from iPhone 12 Pro uh, 12 Pro Max the 13 pros and even 14 up to the new iphones they are the ones that have the uh, the lighter so in this case we are using the 13 pro so when you are doing a scan make sure that you move as slow as possible again we made that error and we noticed when you were doing the scan Then make sure that you get as much details as possible and make sure that you would move your camera around uh, gently so that you won't uh, miss any spots. So I actually missed some spots when, you are, when I was doing this scan. So you actually see on the end result that there are some blank spaces on the, on the scan. And now we have increased the video or the speed of the video so that we can finish first so that you can just uh, look have a look at the demonstration but when you are doing this you should be going on a slower space uh, uh, pace then also when you are on your pig or reference points make sure that you spend as much time as possible so that you can get more details we actually made the same error when we were doing the scan and we ended up uh, getting less details on the pig that will make it a bit harder for you to identify the pigs but other than that everything should be fine and it's easy to use the scan after you finish you just save your data it might take some time depending on uh, the size of your scanned area then you should be able to process the data afterwards then it will give you a window like this for you to process then you just uh, process and wait for it so I think right now it's processing they need to tell you to process and give you some time it depends with the quality that you want so in this case I'm going to use uh, HD and just press start then wait for it to process
So I think I've finished with the scan. Now I'm just processing the, the data. So it was hot. So I'm actually waiting for the other guys to come out of the mine. Then we can continue with our journey and see how it goes. It's as not a mine to say, it's just an adjective. Okay, now after it finishes uh, processing, you have a file like this. You can rename it if you want. Then you can share it. You just you go to share module. Then you share in whatever format that you want. There is the point cloud, the LAS file, that is the one that I want, and the OBJ file. That's the one that I'm going to use for for the demonstration next. Uh, hello guys. So now after computing our after collecting our few data, we now go to our computer so that we can now uh, align our few data to the pegs that we have. We have. So what we do first is we in this case I'm using Cloud Compare our scanned data with our with our pegs. So here is a folder with our uh, pigs so this is our scan data uh, this is an LAS file so I drag our LAS file drop it in here they say excuse me apply all or apply the same so after loading it will display our uh, LAS data this is our uh, point cloud of things that we have uh, digitized, uh, sorry, that we have scanned. As you can see, this is a drive that we have scanned, and this is uh, now I will have to load the other file. Uh, this is an unzipped file where I've unzipped it. This is a 3D object file. I just wanted to load on the same point position. The advantage of loading this one, it doesn't have uh, points. It's a 3D object, which means you can actually see, visualize a thing that you want. That's the disadvantage with uh, LAS. Sometimes you can't s properly see some points. So we have loaded this. So if you check, it's on the same position with uh, LAS. You can switch off the LAS, as you can see. I hope you can see. Let me uh, make it bigger and drag here. If I switch off the point clouds, this is the text file that will come out the 3D object. As you can see, it has more detail. And even if you zoom to any extent, you can actually see properly the things. So that's why I like this one. But I want to georeference both of them. So I'll minimize again. Then uh, load uh, my pegs. These are my pegs. Again, drag and drop. This one is a CSV file. Uh, with the this is up the peg names, uh, the y and the x values. So I'm going to change here y, then change here x. Then you just say apply. Then it tell you the shift. Then you just say yes. So as we load, uh, I hope you can see. So here you can select maybe the text uh, text at output. Then you want to make it a view that you want. So firstly, you highlight it. I want to make it, uh, I want the top view. So the views you can select here. So judging from the information that you have, you can now zoom in as I'm doing. So some area, some things, so I'm going to make them a bit faster. This is not the view that I want. I want uh, the top view. Again, you check. If it's the correct view, yes. This one is the view that I want. The top view. The reason why I want the top view, just make sure you check with the data and see which one is the top view. Now, the reason why I want the top view is because of the, we have some pigs. I hope you can see them. This is one of them, one and the other one here. Our scan is not that perfect, so don't worry. So anyway, you select the points, uh, these files, these three files, one, two, three. Then you go here where it says align two clouds by picking at least four points. Then you select there. Uh, these two, control, these two, 
you select uh, by pressing control are the ones that you want to align and we just need this one to be these are the picks that you are going to use so it's select the uh, select to be aligned so you have selected them then you just say okay now it will give you a box like this so what you have to remember is that uh, you need to select in a sequence the points that you are selecting you have to select them in a sequence so again i'm starting here this is our first point try to zoom as much as possible to the point that you want first one this one is the second one try to pick uh, the correct point so as I'm going I know where my other points are uh, the other point is uh, in the middle of this drive I hope we can see it it's a it's in yellow it's not showing that much but I can actually zoom in and see this should be the point this is our third point then we are going to look for a fourth point so you can actually if you right click uh, you can drag like this like what I'm doing if you left click you, uh, you are going to rotate so again this is our cloud computer and uh, we're just going through up until the, the other point the fourth point so my points are in yellow again this is our our point yeah, my scan is a bit hazy because I wasn't it was my first time I think you can do better as you go this is the point that you want this is our third point then you just uh, right click uh, left click sorry then it give you so we have three points so after that we have these points as the points of uh, our uh, our data that you want to the LAS and the textured file then you zoom out what you will be doing when you are zooming out you want to check the points that you had loaded the uh, sorry the pegs sorry so the more you zoom out you notice that you end up getting the area where the pegs are so because this uh, data was in your reference they are a bit further away from each other so I'll try by all means by zooming out uh, those pigs will give me a number just like this one exactly this is wh what I want so I'm going to go here I'm now going to select the four points for this one you can actually do with uh, even more points now because I know the naming of the points in the sequence you just drag up to where you can see all of them again remember they were in line we didn't go up to the fourth point uh, the fifth point sorry so this was our point number one again you select in the same sequence this is our point number two this is our point number three so as you will see when we're selecting the points are coming here I can I can drag this then let me let me do the fourth point this is the fourth point as you can see I can drag this to the bottom and up they need to tell me the error the error that we are having this is the error in each point if you then remember to auto to mark up the adjustment scale and the auto update zoom so now depending with uh, the margin of error that you want for these points I think some of the areas are okay instead of these ones but for learning purposes I think they are okay then we just say align after aligning check your data and seems it seems okay to me then you just say apply then it will give you the errors and everything the transformation which has been done then okay from there you are you now have uh, your your scan data uh, your iPhone scan data uh, or your 3d 3d scanner data uh, geo referenced and you can now use it on your plans and everything if you ch take it to your plans it will match with other plans maybe you have the surface for the, that area uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you liked and enjoyed the video then what you can do after this is just to save you can select uh, whatever file that you want here remember they are now georeferenced and maybe you want the LAS you just uh, select the LAS then you save it uh, then I can save it as uh, geo, georef 
then you can open it with uh, any other format that you want you can change it into an LAS again or even a DXF you want to open it with uh, a card based uh, software or anything else it's fine then you can just save with this one uh, then if you want to save the other one that's the advantage of cloud compare you can save then you can do other edits from here I hope you liked and enjoyed the video and remember I will put uh, some of the links of the softwares that you can use uh, besides uh, Cloud Compare, I will put the link on the description for Cloud Compare. I will also put the link on the description for Soft Tree. The advantage of all also using this uh, Soft Tree software is that uh, they give you a trend one trial product, and you can even uh, call them and check if the uh, the license and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed.